Good morning, this is Mrs. Heisenmuddle, and I'm just going to go through and do a quick tutorial for lists here, just so you can get an idea of how to set one up from scratch, which many of us haven't done yet. So I'm going to, I'm making up an app here, so I'm going to maybe make some sort of a calorie tracking app to help me lose weight or to keep track. So I'm going to go ahead, and the first thing I'm going to need is a date picker. So the whole line that's at the top, so they're going to do their date and what meal it is, then they're going to add their text box for their calories, and then we're going to save it to a list. So now I'm just going to go through and change the names so that I know what everything is. Nope. Okay. So I put my elements for my string up here already so that I wouldn't have to build a list for it later. Now going into our blocks, one of the things people find the hardest is that if I want to make a list, create an empty list just looks like that. Well, one of the things you can do is create a global variable that starts as an empty list and then you can use the list. So we can go ahead and put this up here and I'm just going to call it my input list. So I'm going to create an empty input list and now the next thing is that I have to think about what the user is going to do. Well the user is going to type in a bunch of information and then hit the save button. So I'm going to start with when they hit the save button. So when they click that save button I want it to go out and add things to the list. So add items to list. I can come up here and get a get for my list. There we go. So that works better. And then the item that I want to have it add to the list. Well, the first thing I want to add is the date picker selection. This is what we're hoping for. So when I hit that save button, it should be able to do all of these things. Okay, so I got my emulator up, and as you can see, when I click the date, I get three spinners set, so I can set the date. I can choose which meal I wanna make it, and then I can put in my calories by clicking in here, and adding some number of calories and hitting save. And you're saying, okay, great, nothing happened. Well, actually, I think something did happen. I think it actually did add it to the list. The problem is I can't see it. So I need to be able to pull or change some of my features so I can actually see what's going on. So I'm going to go back to my designer window here. Now I'm going to add a random label down here that doesn't have to do anything. Um, I'm just going to put saved as the text on it and I'm going to rename this as the show me label and the reason I'm calling it show me is because that's what I'm going to have it do is show me what's in my list because I need it to, to update and show me what's in my list so let's go look at the blocks and you can see my emulator's kind of fritzing out over there. Okay, so I was messing with my date on a picker, and I discovered that in order to get to show, I needed to set the date picker text to be whatever the month was, and then I put a little underline, whatever the day was, another little underline, and then the year, um, because it doesn't like spaces in lists. So I put it in 
that way and we're going to kind of see if that works. So I've now saved something to my list, but I still can't see it. So I, in this case, when I hit the save button, I also want to change that show me label text, which is right here. Show me label text to be whatever's in that list. So I'm going to say get that global input list. So now when I hit save, it shows me what's in the list. That's how you can get a list. Now you're probably wondering, okay, great. Now I want to get rid of everything in the list. Well, to do that, I'm going to need another button. And we'll go back to the blocks. And now I'm just going to grab that clear button when the clear button is clicked. Well, now I have to decide what I want to do. The first thing I want to do is to wipe the list. Set the global input list to create an empty list. And that should do it. So that when I hit clear, we'll see if that actually does the, what I want it to do. And that means that I need to change this back to date. I need to change this back to nothing. So that means I'm going to need to go find my date picker. And set the date picker text to uh, the word date, I believe, is when I want to set it to. So come up here, drop that in there, and we'll type date. Oops. And I want to set the, um, I want to make that text box go back to blank. So let's find calorie text. Set that text to back to text, set that to blank, and on the spinner, let's see what that does. So select a date, shows up. I'm going to select lunch this time, and I'm going to type in, whoops. I always want to type on my computer keyboard instead of typing over here. I always forget 250. Save. Okay, so it's there. Clear. And we kind of got it what we wanted. This didn't quite work right, and it didn't clear that show me label. So we're going to have to go back and set the show me label text. Can be another one of these. So I can just, whoops. Control duplicate. Clear. Now yeah, let's say it does that, but it, that spinner, it's not what I want the spinner to look like, if that works. So we'll go forward in time this time. And I'll pick a meal. And we'll pick calories. And save. And notice now it went back to being blank when I hit save. And when I hit clear, everything clears out. So now that's my basic how to get things to save to a list together. 